What kind of life would you like to have? Well, here's your answer. It's easy. Easy life where life is easy for everyone. Enjoy. Episode 1 Chitting with Old Friends. Hi everyone, it's me, Emmanuel Riley, also known as Dr. S of Chuck E. Cheese. As movie, chat time with friends. So, guys, there's gonna be a lot of fun videos that I'll make for this year. This is my first animation video that I've done and luckily I got a lot to tell my Radical S fans. Thanks to my friend who introduced me to Plotagon and let me take you somewhere where my friend is now. At a seafood restaurant in downtown Jersey. Oh hello everyone, I want you to meet a good friend of mine from preschool, Vanessa. So Vanessa, how were you introduced to Plotagon in the first place? Well my brother was on his computer and he showed me this cool animation app and I was so surprised about it and I thought giving Plotagon a go and so I upload things on YouTube and got a lot of views, and how do you like it so far Emmanuel? I love it, but it was hard at first, but now I'm getting the hang of this, and Vanessa, do you wanna introduce yourself to my audience out there that is watching? Sure thing, I love new people. Hi everyone. I'm Vanessa Kobayashi, I'm Emmanuel's longtime friend since preschool and we are here to talk about different things about social media. Wait. What? Really? Yes. Really. Oh. No. Don't worry buddy, it'll be fun and family friendly. Oh. Okay then. Let's do it. Okay editor. Take us to the next scene please. Emmanuel and Vanessa going into the Easy Studios. Okay, we're here to today to talk about social media. Since 2016, Emmanuel has been cyberbullied for no reason and been accused of many things. So let's chat with you and see what's going on. Hey Emmanuel, what's been happening lately? Asterisk size asterisk, well it's kind of a long story. But okay. When I was 7 years old. I've been bullied like all the time and people say hurtful things and a lot of things towards me. It really hurts my feelings and I'm always crying tears of hell every time when what I had to suffer from 2010. It's been tough to not get picked on and others harassing me. It's like I don't belong here at all and it makes me feel blue. I feel so sorry for Huey. What did you have to do when you got to deal with all of this kind of drama? Well, I talk to my parents about it and tell me to report them, block them and never let them get to me. But, it's hard though because they always gonna threaten me if I don't do it, it scares the lights out of me, but I know that they can't hurt or kill me in real life. But I should always take my parents advice to block them and move on from that. That's great Emmanuel. Kids, always block someone if they try to make fun of you, harass you or anything above. Be the bigger person and do the right thing and thanks for talk with me about what's going on in social media there Emmanuel. You're welcome, I'm glad to share my feelings with you Vanessa and all of you guys who watch my contents 24-7, lol, but I hope you guys take these addresses and use them on your own. So Vanessa, wanna go out for some lunch or something and everything is on me. Sure thing, thanks for watching. An editor. Do your thing please with the next scene. Okay, at the cafe for some lunch with Emmanuel and Vanessa. Oh. Boy. That food was so good. Yours Vanessa? Mine's was so divine and glad we had that talk and got a lot of catching up to do since 2007 bud. I know right, but glad we talked and how's life going for you V? Been going good. Oh. I watched your videos on YouTube and they were so amazing. For me is just music, artwork, playing my bass guitar and cooking up some food for my family and my little brother. 
Wow. It's good that you're doing better since that time with Cynthia. Please. Please not talk about that. Oh. Sorry Vanessa, kind of forgot about that. But it's 2019, the negative times in the past is gone for and will never be told again for good. Good. But there is a problem though. What's that Vanessa? I wonder if we can still continue the as animation series on the Drive as of Set channel. And I kind of liking this idea, and is it possible for us to do that? And the MMM. Yes, of course. But it may take every about two weeks to do these videos, and probably I can ask Charles Tucker and my other friends to be a part of it and have our next episode about our Chuck E. Cheese history, about Japanese language or anything we please. Oh goody, will I have to get going? My dad is on his way home and got to help him fix that wall that he crashed into the other night. Ha ha ha. Okay, see you later and thanks once again for talking with me. You're welcome E-Man, bye. You too Vanessa, see you soon. Back with Emmanuel at his home, Vanessa went home with her dad and everything turned out good at the end. Alright then. Oh. Thanks so much for watching this animation, make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment, like this video and share with your loyal friends. Can't wait to do more of this soon and thanks for being a part of my team. And always remember guys, be easy and stay jersey. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, adios amigos. Here's the preview for the next episode! And the fun thing is, we can do whatever we please around here. And this, this, is, a, this is a special limited edition $5 special that to go on. Well, let's go on so let's, let's see what they offer. You know the drill Emmanuel, and this is why we are best friends for life. <laughs> okay then, let's, let's, let's go, go on. Let's get inside already, okay? Let's get a little chilly. Hmm, this is nice. Well, while she going to the back, what? What? Huh? You look familiar. Wait, are you? Now that was a preview, guys. Sorry, I went which was long too, but you know, no spoilers. Yeah, and anyway, y'all might as well know who's gonna be the next episode. And yeah. So thank you so much for watching my first episode of this of this It's Easy Life series. Please, please click a subscribe, comment, and follow up, like on this video. And see you guys in two weeks for the next episode of It's Easy Life. Bye. What kind of life would you like to have? Well, here's your answer. It's easy. Easy life where life is easy for everyone. Enjoy! Episode 2 Meet the Rap Star. Ah, this is a nice day. Oh, and hello, everybody. Yeah, me and Vanessa are just on our way to get something to eat. Like, right, Van right Vanessa? Sure thing. And the fun thing is, we can do whatever we please around here. And this, this, is a, this is a special limited edition $5 special that to go on. Well, let's go on so let's, let's see what they offer. You know the drill Emmanuel, and this is why we are best friends for life. <laughs> okay then, let's, let's, let's go, go on. Let's, let's get inside already, okay? It's getting a little chilly. Hmm, this is nice. Well, while she's going to the back, what? What? Huh? You look familiar. Wait, are you? Yo, 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 what's up, Dr. EZFC? 
E. C. It's me. Charles Tucker, also known as Charles T. The Rap King. So what's popping, my boy? What in the world? It says life. Episode 2. Meet the rap star. Can't be. It really can't be. You, Charles Tucker, a.k.a. Charles T. The Rap King, doing here? What are you doing here, man? I'll fire all the way down to Louisiana. I was, but I decided to take a vacation here to New Jersey and didn't expect me to stop by, did you? Anyway, I need your help, my brother, because I need to make a diss track on someone that hates me. That hates you? Who hates you? Well, I don't know his name, but he's been a jerk to me lately and been hacking people's accounts for no reason. Hmm. Now I kind of know the person what you're talking about. Uh, tell me more about it, and then 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 let's head to the, to my place, and then like you, we just head to Easy Studios and try to talk about it. Okay? Sounds good, dude. And do you have any beverages for me to drink? Because I'm thirsty and I haven't ate since I left Louisiana. Sure thing, buddy. Beverages are on the house. Hey, editor, take us to the next scene and and, and help. Uh, we can try to solve this like hacking hate shit problem and as i have an idea who the person is but yeah so yeah can you me do that for us please and file a file or three or two one right now up in the easy studios green room where charles and emmanuel are at now hello guys welcome back to the show we're here today to try to talk about like some things about, about what helps solve Charles' problem. Because he wanted to do a district on someone that hates him. Or, or try to do something that's like, like that's kind of like, you know, upsetting him. And today we got Charles Tucker here today, like, to help us explain what's going on. So Charles, tell us what's been going on lately. Well, it's a long story. But one day I was doing a diss track on Diane, then this person was saying things about me, making fun of me, stealing my pictures and other things that bothered me so dearly, so... I thought doing a diss track or exposing him might do him some right, but I think it might get worse, so... What should I do, Emmanuel? Well, my best advice is to like tell an adult or let someone know or report it to Instagram TV. And also, you can like do a song like how you feel, or try to explain to them how, like, the that based on what they're doing doesn't do you right. So I think you should always do the right thing, and like an all an all perspective, man. Really? But what if that person keeps on doing it and never stops? Then you block him. Really? Yes, exactly. But that's the best thing to do. Well. Okay then. And Emmanuel, you gave me an idea for my next song, and it can help everyone else when they get bullied on social media or anywhere in public. That's a great idea! And maybe it can help, like, you know, really help people a lot in different situations. It, and also, anyone can now can, like, you know, like, tell their parents, tell an adult, and learn how to block them, and be done for. And also, yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. Alright, kids, remember, tell an adult, Report it and block that person. That's the best advice from me and Charles. You dang right, dude. Hey, maybe we can work on that song and then upload it onto YouTube and see if it really spread the word out to everyone out on Earth and on Planet Purple. You feel me, dog? Heck yeah, dude. Okay then. Let's get to your studio and start making the song and upload it. Now that's what's up, dude! Hey, hey! Let's go eat. Seven hours later of making a new song. <sighs> dude, it's been almost like for eight hours. How long is it gonna take to upload? Just until we'll be able to get the network going on here. <sighs> I... 35 minutes later. Okay. Almost done. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got almost like a minute left until it's uploaded. Right now it's like 9 at night and it hasn't uploaded for the past like out like for the past 2 hours. 
Uh, I hope it turns out okay. Uh. Me too, dude. Me too. 15 minutes later, oh my god, can't believe it's still going on Emmanuel and Charles. Yeah, we know, editor. We know. Sorry. I think you still gotta do your job. Okay. Now five minutes to go. Ah! Ah! Emmanuel getting extremely took it off. <sighs> oh my god. I just want this to be over, dude. I didn't expect for, for the past three hours for it to not upload, man. Don't worry, brother. Everything will be alright, and look. Ten seconds to go. Oh my god. Yes. It's finally uploaded. Woohoo! You yeah, yeah! Woo! Finally it uploaded. Uh, now it's gotta see how many comments we got or likes we got on this on this vi on this video. Oh my god, finally. Been three and a half hours, but it's finally uploaded. Heck yeah. Yup. Okay, I feel like that I need to head home or to a hotel and get some sleep and something to eat. Okay, thanks Emmanuel for helping me out for help making this music video and all of your time. Now I have confidence to do anything I please. Okay, it was nice having you here. Now, so it was a nice surprise too while I was at that restaurant back there. Alright, you gotta make sure you're gonna call me and, and see how it went. Heck yeah. Okay then, goodbye Emmanuel Riley. Gotta catch my plane back to Louisiana and it was nice that I meet you in real life, buddy. Me too, buddy. Me too. See you again. Going to the bus stop and Emmanuel is waiting for Charles's bus to come to take him to the airport. Thanks for everything, Emmanuel. Anytime, pal. Anytime. Charles went to the airport and good things came by. Now here's Emmanuel. Huh, hope you guys enjoyed that day. And today was fun. Isn't that right? Huh. Well, I bet Charles is gonna have a good time. And I hope that everything turned out well. And also, how about you, Easy 2.0? It's going to be awesome. Glad to be. Be here as your personal robot figure and I hope Charles got home. 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 Safely. I hope so too. Just always pray to God and hope that everything comes out right for everyone on earth. And also another thing too, you don't hate, you don't like send them to hell and everything or whatever. Just be glad that I hope everyone's okay, make sure everyone's having a good day. Make sure everyone's been treated with respect. The same respect that you give them, the respect will come back right to you. Yes. God. Is. A way maker and. And and a person who cares about us from here and up in 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 the heavens you got that right okay anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe comment and thumbs up and many more on this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope y'all uh, share this video with your friends and your family and all that junk and hooey hooey but be always be glad to have someone always actually always be glad to help someone out that's in need and really need who asks for some help and always be glad to like support them all the way give them, give people good advice be the best person you can be and be a good example to one another yes yes in in indeed oh i love love me some good intero and drink Right. Right. About now, Doctor. E. Z, sir. And I'm just. Curious. Curious. Oh, uh, what is that, Easy 2.0? Oh. 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 Were you with Vanessa earlier today? Oh, no! Oh man, I forgot about when the house will take her out. Oh, and she's still at the restaurant. Oh, 
Oh no! At the restaurant where Vanessa is at now for the past 22 hours. Um. Excuse me ma'am. You've been here for like almost a day. Now. And do you need anything because you. Look. Look starving, tired and. Kind of. Of. Of sleepy. Oh. Wait what? No. I'm not leaving until my friend is back, he hasn't been back for 22 hours. I hate you. Oh dear. Um. I'm just gonna leave you alone. Okay. Okay. Okay I'm gonna hear to the ladies room and I'm so. Oh my god. Will you shut up? Okay ma'am. Okay. I hate my life. Emmanuel. Where are you my friend? Oh dear god. Where are you? Um. Okay. The end. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh! Really? <laughs> Charles T. The Rap King. New song. Ways to, to, to prevent getting hated and being separate bullied. <laughs> They don't even know what's coming to them. I, Mr. Yoko, will finally put an end to social media and all the YouTubers with all his needs. I'll get all my crew members, cumbers, potatoes, everyone to the, the ruin everyone's lives. Is this the end? Stay tuned and find out what Mr. Yoko is doing in episode 3, 4 or 5. Here is a preview of episode 3. Are oh, you ready to go inside? I'm gonna have something nice to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Sure, and I hope it isn't expensive as the last one four years ago. Laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, nah. No, I searched up long for the restaurants here. Now, so far, this restaurant is not that expensive. Because for two persons, only like five dollars. And some other cheap junk. No, you know what I'm saying? Are you sure, Boo Boo Bear? I hope you're not lying to me. What the? Oh, no, no, no. I got me some. I got almost a. Like $600 on my, on my pocket. So, yeah, we can get whatever we want at this restaurant. Yeah, man, get, like, you know. Cause I'm so bad and all. Am I right? Um. Okay. Alright everyone. That was the preview of episode 3. That will be coming next Saturday. 11.30 a.m. Eastern Pacific Time. And I'm saying there will be more characters. And try to figure out everyone's personalities. And Lucky Wood will be in my next. Sh will, be, will be in my show. So thanks you guys so much for watching this Easy Life series. And I'll catch you guys later with episode 3. Bye. And more videos will come out you guys soon. What kind of life would you like to have? Well, here's your answer. It's easy. Easy life where life is easy for everyone. Enjoy! Episode 3 Vanessa's Long Time Crush. Hi, everybody! Welcome back to the show. 
Yep, I'm here in school right now, and right now we're learning like some, like, you know, some geometry and so on. So, uh, I know I'm not supposed to be talking right now, but I want to talk to you guys, because let's say we, like, go into the next period classes, so, yeah, so we're free, so we're free to talk and whatever. Alright, here's our teacher, Mr. Hulk. Hello, class. I'm Mr. Hulk. Today we're going to be learning about fractions in the lot of 10th grade bull. Okay, class. Take your textbook books from yesterday, okay? Okay, good. Sometimes he gets a little impatient, but I think it's best to, like, you know, do what as it says, okay? Yo. Take out the daggum textbooks and enough talking. Okay? Good, take IT out, dang IT. Okay, now, can someone give us a brief on what we did yesterday? I know, I know. So yesterday we were learning about points, lines, planes, and angles, proof, perpendicular and parallel lines, triangle similarity, right triangles and j j triangle, triangle maturity, and so on. Good. Thanks, Emmanuel. You get an A plus for telling on what we did. Okay, class. Today we're gonna do an Excel assignment on similarities, and your target goal to do this assignment is 95%, and it's also a test grade. Okay, class. You got it. Good, now let's get started okay. It says like. Episode 3, Vanessa's long time crush. Alright class, you got less than 15 seconds to finish your eye. X. L assignment and so far Emmanuel was the only person that got a 100% on it. Okay class, everyone can go home, and your homework assignment is 2 do I. X. LP.7 for homework and the target is 90%. So have a good day and see you tomorrow. Hi buddy, I was so worried about you the other day. What happened? Well, the thing was, like, my fr you know that restaurant that we went to yesterday? Because Charles Tucker wanted wanted me to help him, and also and also I did, and then like you know I care I like always help everyone out that's in need. So and I I totally forgot I totally forgot to, to let you know where I was going. So sorry, Vanessa. I had to help Charles out with his like thing with, with his problem. So would you forgive me? Well, of course, buddy. Anyway, I have to head home because my longtime crush is coming to see me today. Wait. What? Your long-time crush? Yeah, he wanted to ask me out on a special date and we can start back dating again. Again? What do you mean by again? Well, I never talked about this, but back then when I was in... 16 minutes later of Vanessa explaining her long reason. And that's how it came out. But as you said before, this is a new year and we leave the past behind. Right, Emmanuel? Yeah, I I did say that in the first episode. Yeah. And also, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I ho hope your day it goes well. Anyway, I have to head home and, like, and I do finish up my homework I have to do for Mr. Hulk. And, and do other things, too, I, I need everything to do. I need to, like, you know, make some more YouTube videos and stuff like that. You know, the important things. And I, I have a church gig later on today, and... Yeah, whatever. But uh, ho hope you have fun. <laughs> well, all right. See you tomorrow and hope everything goes for you okay. Ah, thanks, V. I uh, hope goes for you too. Later on throughout the day. Ah, now this is the life. After tomorrow, there will be more. Isn't that right, sweetie? Sure. But I have no idea what you're talking about and I hope you ain't gonna do anything bad, because you're already on probation for three years for stealing and other stuff. Don't worry, my precious angel. I'm almost good now. <laughs> yeah. For now. <laughs> okay. Now I'm starting to feel scared, Boo Boo Bear. Um. 
Next, please. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hello? Hey, DeAndre, it's me. Vanessa Kobayashi, the girl with purple hair in your class. Oh, that Vanessa Kobayashi. Oh, how are you doing, B? It's been so long. What have you been doing lately? Well, I've been doing my own business and doing some fun things with my girls at the mall. Um, I'm just wondering. Can we go out on a date later on and see if if we can be boyfriend and girlfriend for real this time? What? Dating? Going out? B? BF? B, BF and GF? Um, wait. Um... Sure! Let's make this a date! Let's do it! And that's so, I really do have feelings for you, V. And I really do, I, I just, it was hard for me to express how I really feel towards you. And that's so, I see that you're a really nice girl. That, like, I really want to, like, you know, make, make some improvements. What do you say? 8 o'clock sharp tonight? Heck yeah, DeAndre. See you soon at 8 p.m. sharp. Down where Charles is at. Wow. 450 likes and 4 dislikes. Wow. That video with Emmanuel and I did went now viral. Oh my god. Cool. Now where <coughs> DeAndre and Vanessa are at the restaurant in the mini shopping district. So, V, I was already ready to go inside. But I have something nice to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Sure, and I hope it isn't expensive as the last one four years ago. Laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, nah. No, nah, I searched up non the restaurants here. Now, so far, this restaurant is not that expensive. Because for two persons, only like five dollars. And some other cheap junk. No, you know what I'm saying? Are you sure, Uwo Blue Bear? I hope you're not lying to me. What the? Oh no no no! I got me some. I got almost a six hundred dollars on my on my pocket. So yeah, we can get whatever we want at this restaurant. Yeah, man, get like you know, cause I'm so bad and all. Am I right? Um. Okay, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get inside. Oh, okay, sweetie. Let's get going. Wow. That was something. Oh, come on, Romeo. Let's get going, you silly you. We'll be right back with the Andrenis after this message from Mayor Blazer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mayor Blazer. I'm your community mayor of the state of New Jersey. Today, we're here to talk to you about some of the good aspects on, like, showing respect in our community. Because on this short right here, it just shows that, that at the average, in the year 2017, actually in 2018, people were, were being, were less mean back then. But in 2019, this year ex ex Sorry about that. So anyway, yeah, this is what it goes down. Sorry about that. That was my phone. But anyway, this just shows that people just they don't have the right heart to like show love to anyone other. Kids always show love to one another. But mayor, what if people don't want to have a kind heart or don't want to be nice to anyone? Well. Hmm, that was a good question there, Kesha. That's kind of she, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Honestly, I have no idea. But no, that's all that's what people's choices are. I was they decided to be nice, mean to anyone that they encounter. And most people hate kids with you know, special needs or people that are different. Or get a lot of privileges. So that that's just them. Cause and that's and, and that's a them problem. Oh, it's... yeah, that's the whole plan. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mayor. You're welcome there, Kashi. You're welcome. So anyway, that's all the time I have for today. 
And thank you guys so much for coming by and like listening to our message. So, if you guys got any questions, go go check out Doctor Easy of CC channel or of any any of my favorite citizens accounts like you know Charles Tucker and, and Taylor Wolf the King or anyone that 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 helps stop cyberbullying and other reasons like that. So please check it out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Cool message there, Mayor Blazer. Okay, guys. Now back to the show. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. This is so nice, DeAndre. Love the whole scenery. Me too, V. It's like a shark and a fish swimming in the ocean. Just like friendly like. Like, you know, enemy is not my type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a positive guy. I have a nice heart and soul. Oh. My. How fascinating there, DeAndre. I also love animals and fishes too. I used to work at Jenkins Aquarium back in 2017. Really? Wow! I did not even know that. Although if you're still walking at that aquarium, Jenkins Aquarium, I wonder if you can get like give me like a free discount or something. I never saw a real fish before in my life. All I see on TV and other stuff like that. Back then, I didn't really like have a lot of privileges to go anywhere. But uh, you tell me that you're working at an aquarium. We should go in there one day on one of our date nights one day. Or in the next episode or so. Just like, you know, just for fun and all. And that's so cool, Vanessa. So cool. <laughs> well, when we'll go to the aquarium and hope we can see all of them beautiful fishes, sharks, and all kinds of sea creatures. Oh, awesome. And this is why I love you, V. You're the best. Well, you want to get to eat right now? Because, like, you know, we've been here for quite a while now. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, babe. Let's order our food and enjoy ourselves tonight. Just you and me. Okay, then. Let's do it, then. All right. So, what's left to eat, then? Well, let me think. Do you have any idea? Yes, there is, I do have an idea. I saw it's on the menu. This special pizza is, is on sale. Actually, actually, it's on deal for t- for ten ninety nine. And it's a huge news. The way both of us can have it. Yeah, cause I love all that. And it's a free appetizer. Like you know, good stuff like that. You know, trying to be cheap and all. <laughs> okay, let's do it, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> While DeAndre and Vanessa are eating their pizza, let's get back where Manuel is at now. Konnichiwa! How are you guys doing out here? I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Yeah, I'm here at the special convention, looking, looking at like different artwork. But I'm not here alone. My, my friend Taylor, you know, y'all might know her as Taylor Wolf on YouTube. Yeah, she's here with me right now today to look at some like fascinating artwork here. And Taylor, so what do you think of of this beautiful artwork? I think all of this artwork is so fantastic, and so much detail in each one E. I couldn't agree more. All this, like, it shows like a lot of feeling and detail to to the the artwork. It shows like like, how people use it. Well, yeah, yeah, but this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so based on all this artwork that, that I'm seeing here today, it's so fascinating how people like do all this art, like you draw and color, or as you paint different objects. You know, I am also known as an artiste, but I only like draw like certain things, like Chuck E. Cheese related, Power Rangers, like all kinds of things like that. I draw. Yeah, it's rare that I barely share my drawings out, but I wish I can. Now be I'll be over to like you know, do more things in life. Isn't that right, Tay? That's right, Emmanuel. Okay, okay then. Let's get back to the show. 
with my friend Vanessa and, and her boyfriend, DeAndre. Yeah, I heard they're going. They're, I heard they're doing good. It's um recently I, I've been I've been seeing what they're doing all late, lately. Yeah, so far, Vanessa's doing good. S- same with, same with DeAndre. Well, let's let's get back and and see how they're doing. And also, I bet their pizza might be good. Yeah. <laughs> it. <laughs> well, you get the drill. All right then. Hang tight, y'all. Well, yeah, you get the whole rest. I'll see you later. Back with DeAndre and Vanessa. Oh, Mama Mia. That pizza was so divine. Isn't that right, V? <laughs> yeah. Sure is DeAndre, and it only costs us $18 because the pizza drinks and dessert, which was a strawberry lemon cake, and oh, it was so delicious, good staff, good service, good hospitality and a lot of nice people here. Yep, you're right V, it's always right for a restaurant to have like good, of everything, cause if it's not, it's gonna be like, you know, going downhill, almost like, like, you know, a shark and captain, and being like, yeah. That's so, that was so deep. Oh, God. But, yeah, you're right. Everyone should have, always have good hospitality. Gotta be nice. Have, like, you know, make everyone feel welcome around here. Always feel welcome. That's nice, and thank God that everything turned out okay. So let's hurry and pay the bill, okay? Okay, Minasa Kobayashi. After leaving the restaurant. Thanks for taking me out tonight. I had a lot of fun with you, DeAndre. You're welcome. So glad that you had fun. You know, so it was a nice night to be coming out here. It was nice. Like, you know, I get to talk with you. Like, you know, I think we can be boyfriend and girlfriend after all. I think we can. Because so far, all of us have a good things in common. And so I really like you, V. You're the nicest girl, cause like, what? Well, yeah, you're the nicest girl I've ever met ever in my life. So you're saying you wanna be boyfriend and girlfriend for real this time? Mmm. Sure. Why not? Let's be real, boyfriend and girlfriend. Cause today was just the best night of my life. Like, thank God, thank God to have you with me, Vanessa. Kobayashi and me, DeAndre Hathaway, as you know, Mr. and Mrs. Hathaway, one day. Oh, how sweet of you. <laughs> well, have a blessed day and see you tomorrow, babe. Ah, you too, sweetheart. Love you. I'm forever until the end. Ah, what a happy ending for a Kobayashi and a Hathaway. Oh, golly! There's eight? Was that a good show or what, my boy? Sure thing, Kelson. Oh, then I'll ask you, Arkin. Oi, oh! I hope you enjoyed the show! Ha! Thank you so much for watching this! Ha! <laughs> Imagine if we were talking to a real audience when I might be there, nerd brother! <laughs> yeah, we introduced- yeah, we really introduced ourselves as a nerd twins, right? <laughs> yeah, that's so aw- uh, awkwardating. Um, awkwardating isn't a word genius. Well, it could be a word there! Uh, no way in God's name that can be a daggone word, boy. Boy, don't talk to the hand, okay? Just go, just go talk to the hand, dude. Meanwhile. <clears throat> hey, Taylor, so far this is the best video that I ever uploaded in my YouTube life. <gasps> Excuse me. Wow, that's great, Charles. Hey, look, some person just commented on your video. <laughs> Q 
cool. Let's check it out and see what's this all about. Wait. Who in the bloody devil is this person? Evil Daya Dr. Fandagon. What? This person is spamming the dislikes into 1k and... Oh my god. Oh my god, I think someone is spamming you Charles. Oh no, do you think who it is? Yes, I'm gonna have to report this person. What the? Oh, my computer just crashed. Oh my dear god, I think that person just screwed up your computer and hacking into your accounts. What can we do man? I don't know, probably DriveUZ can help us, and I think I have a good idea who caused this kind of damage and hatred. <laughs> oh, poor Rap King! Thanks to me, you will no longer be making any more videos on that stupid computer! I <laughs> said <laughs> once I get everyone's computers, as I get into everyone's computers, there will be no more social media for anyone. No more socializing, no more video making, no more followers, no more views, no more anything. Oh, will someone stop Mr. Yoko from destroying social media and hacking into people's accounts? Stay tuned and find out soon on our upcoming episodes of It Says Live. What kind of life would you like to have? Well, here's your answer. It's easy. Episode 4, Charles' music career. Oh my god. Still want to know how in the world that my computer got hacked and my music video got spammed. What should I do, Taylor? What should I do? Charles, calm down. Everything will be fine. We just need Emmanuel's help and that's all. Oh. Hi everybody, yeah I know, normally Emmanuel would start out the show, but he'll be in here later, okay. Anyway, if you didn't know me already, I'm Taylor also known as Taylor Wolf on YouTube, so we're here today to figure out who hacked and spammed Charles and this is really, really getting stuck in his mind. Hey. So. We're just here to have some breakfast and head to New Jersey and see if Emmanuel can help us with this problem and saves Charles' music career. So far it's going downhill because that random user sending messages that I didn't send and a lot of stuff is happening to my accounts and everything I do on social media. Charles. Snap out of IT dude. Let's just get into the show. It says life. Episode 4, Charles' Music Career. Okay Charles, I hope you get to New Jersey safe, and hope get all of this know out and see who was that random user who hacked and spammed you. Okay thanks Taylor. See you in about a week or two. Okay, you too. Now Charles is off to New Jersey. <laughs> I finally did it. I finally got into George's account and his computer. Now, I can just start spamming. 
and do whatever I please want to do. No one's not gonna stop me. <laughs> Who is that? Who is this on his phone? <laughs> it's me, Sir Shadow Helenton. I hope you do some good work, Mr. Yoko. And based on that charter that we signed, I hope you're doing some work. Well, I don't want to brag. I'm doing good work. And guess what? I hacked into someone's account, M Mr. Hellington, sir. And also, I made sure I, I ruined his reputation by getting into his account, and sending fake messages, and all this, like, hatred stuff. Yep, I'm doing some good old work. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good work, Mr. Yoko. But once we get everyone's accounts, we all take over the world and take over all social media. <laughs> you know, it's great that they that you decided to join your call. Cause I thought for a second you 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 and your crew like social media. Now, uh, now we can hate on social media all together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Let me do more accounts. <laughs> and I'm right on it. Are you, Mr. Yoko? Yes, sir. I know the whole deal, dang it. Good. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, <laughs> now so Seattle, Hellington, and Mr. Yoko got an evil scam on their hands. So anyway, let's get back to Charles. I wonder where. Oh, Emmanuel. Hey, what's up, brother? How's it been? Doing good, doing good. H how about you, man? So what, so what, so what made you came all the way back to New Jersey, dude? Well, I need your help, man, in my day. It's not so well. Oh no! What happened, dude? What's going on? Can we talk about inside, please? Because it's getting a little chilly out here. Okay, man. Okay. Gotcha. Inside the cafe. Okay, Charles. Tell Uncle Easy and tell him what's going on there, buddy. So what's going on? Well, last night, I was going through that video that we did and then somehow this random user spammed that video to 1k dislikes and commenting hurtful things to me and then my channel got crashed and then my computer got in some kind of virus. So, after that, I couldn't get back onto my accounts and channels because it was hacked. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear it up, bud. They don't know what happened next, dude. Then I wasn't able to get back onto any of my accounts, and now people are saying that they hate me, gonna expose me in a whole bunch of drama that I don't need, and now, this is starting to ruin my life. Wow, I guess not, that didn't feel right at all. Hmm, probably I can help you out with that. And uh, so I know, I know this guy who, who, can, who can track different users on, on a special website. But I need to call him and see if he's available to, like, to help us out with the situation. So, like, a cyber policeman? Um, somewhat about. Yeah, somewhat about. Good. Let's get to this person and see if he can help us. Alright then. Let's get going. Okay, editor, take us to the next scene. Okay, fine. Emmanuel calls a friend to help with Charles's problem. Hey Rafi, what's gonna be our next assignment for this week's project? No, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm on the phone. Okay, 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 yes, Mr. Carson. Okay, okay, yes, I, I'm, we make sure we, we'll get it done. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, alright, all right, have a blessed day. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, Lucy. 
What would you turn the off me before? I was wondering what's this week's project gonna be? Because I need some extra time on the assignment that I'm already on, so I just need. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. uh, I, I, I'm, I was giving a call right now. Hello, this is, this is Cyberworld, this is Robbie, how, how can I help you? Oh, hey, Emmanuel, how are you doing, uh, bud? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, all doing fine, uh, all doing fine, we're all, we're all fine, family's doing good. So, why do you call Cyber World? Oh, oh dear. Your friend's computer got hacked and the council got hacked? Oh, oh, okay, okay, I kind of understand now. I kind of understand what you're trying to say. Okay, okay, no, wait, 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 all right, what's the name of the account? Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. I, 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 I truly get it. I truly get it. I, I, I truly do. Okay, I'll, I'll get to work on that right today, man. Yeah. Okay. I'll just, just, just let your friend know that I'll be working on it for, for a couple hours. And then I'll call you back and, and let you know. Alright. Bye. Alright. Until time I Sorry, I'm on a busy schedule for today. You gotta tell me why I'm not so busy today. Okay. And uh, one other thing, don't just be like, you know, barging here and start like, you know, talking about church out there. Okay, this is just the... Uh... All of my gods. Okay, sorry about that. You gotta talk to me later on while I'm not on the restaurant. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is several of all... This, this is really how, how can I have you to die? Oh my god. Well, I guess have to stay late to do the project and have to miss my daughter's birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese's. I hate my life right now. Where Emmanuel and Charles is now in his kitchen. Okay, I called Ravy and, and, and he's gonna get to the bottom of who like you know was spamming half your account. So so we will know in, in the next like twelve minutes or so, and then like yeah, you just won't be back to normal again. Okay. Good to hear him. So, what should we do in the meantime when Ravi calls you back? Probably go live on YouTube, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, sure. Why not? Only for 12 minutes, right? Yes, sir, Rooney. 48 minutes later. Oh my god, it's been almost like 48 minutes. Oh my, oh no. What's well, taking Robbie so long to call me for? Oh my god, what in the world are we gonna do, boy? Hold your horses, is it Ravi that's calling? I don't know. Let's, let's see and find out. Hello, this is EZ Residence. How can I help you? Hi, Emmanuel. Uh, it's me, Ravi. I just found out who hacked your friend's account and spammed it. Is is by his nameless person name, like, Yoshi Yoko? Yeah, 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 that's the person's name who had that person got and, like, and he is the user, random user, so yeah, is is Mr. I can't, is, uh, it's hard to pronounce his first name, but I just call him Yoshi for short, Yoshi Yoko. Yoshi Yoko? Wait, that's, that's Yoshi Karo Yoko. Wait, wait, he's my art. Oh no, wait, he, wait, he hacked Charles' account? Yes, I'm sure, Emmanuel, I'm, I'm really sure, cause, because due to the process, we have to track who, like, who, like, who said it, like, Yoshiyoko, like, you know, the guy with the blonde hair, wearing red, wearing, like, you know, church shoes, with sweatpants, like, you probably might know the person, yeah, so he was the person who hacked the account, of Charles Tucker, so yeah, so yeah, we're calling like police right now and report this person and look at it, it tracks his location, and yeah, it, yeah, we, we, we're gonna get to the bottom of this, okay? All right, thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Robbie, for everything. Thank you, thank you, man. I'm also glad you helped because like my, my friends, like, I will we'll be dead like if if my, if my like you know our teacher neighbor like him on hacking. No problem. Well, yeah, 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 no problem. 
Anyway, I need to get back to what I was doing because I need to go hold of, of another customer because, like, you know, her, like, you know, her, like, you know, her phone bill and stuff like that online and, like, like, saying fake, like, sales is, like, you know, it's a, it's a big matter, okay? Okay, I'll talk to you later, Emmanuel. Bye, Ravi. So, talk, talk to you real soon. Good news, Charles. We found the person who hacked the account. Really? Who was the person? His name was Yoshikaro Yoko. We, uh, I know you, and you never heard of him, but he's my next door neighbor, and he's like my substitute art teacher in school. And uh, so I just found out like he's been hacking people's accounts, spamming them, and also like, he was the user, random user. So yeah. Yoshiakiro Yoko. Oh my god, when I find him, I'm gonna. Whoa, dude. Hold your horses. Remember, we have gotta keep this family friendly, remember? Oh, just calm down. And don't worry. Raven is calling the police right now. Because Raven Ra knows what, where Mr. Yoko's location is. So all, all I'll do is just call. And then. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like you know, like you know what I'm saying, boy. Sure. Why not? But I don't know why he hacked and spammed me for. Well, I don't know you neither. Well, all I know is Mr. Yoko is a is a 50 year old man who has no actually because I I know like a lot of facts about that dude. He's been on probation three times on in, in, in his record. Cause he's he's been fired from six jobs in less than a week. Then so on, so on, so on drama that I heard from that boy. Well, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. I, after all, when he gets arrested again, I bet he'll be in jail for a long time. Hope you're right on this, on. Hope so as well, dude. Hope as well. Later that night. So, Officer Brooklyn. Mayor Blazer wants to know if you can help with his presentation tomorrow in Washington, D.C. for the event. I'm not sure, but, but let me think about it. Huh, it's a long drive from here, from New Jersey to here. Um, your phone is ringing there, Brooklyn. Oh, it is! Oh, ha ha, 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 Oh, good grief. Uh, 911, what's your emergency? Hello, m m my name is very be sure. I'm from Cyber Road here in, New in Solomon, New Jersey. I'm going to report in this thing on social media. A, a person named Yoshikaru Yoko has been hacking and spamming people's accounts for the past like week or two ago. I made it for a port, this person, and then also, yeah. So, so based on what the person is doing, it's really illegal, and it costs someone to, to really hurt or really want to end their life. Oh my god, oh, oh, oh really? Oh, 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 I, oh, I didn't, sir. But please tell me that the person's coordinates and location. Ravi telling Officer Brooklyn where Yoshiakiro Yoka lives and so on. Yep, so, so that's why he li he leaves that, Officer Brooklyn. Yeah, this is the person that, that has been hawking people's accounts for, for, for the past three weeks. And he really did ruin someone's life, and, and he was trying to ruin someone else's life by hacking to, to that person's account. And so he is a music rapper named Charles T. The Rap King. And, and, and Yoko was trying to ruin him, so uh, yeah, I just gave all his coordinates out. All right, thank, uh, uh, thank you for giving me the coordinates, and uh, and we we'll, would we'll, all right, we we'll go find where where that Mr. Yoko lives, and we will we'll take care of him. Thank you, Mr. Officer Brooklyn. Uh, uh, thank you so much for dealing with the situation. Cause, cause uh, there's a whole bunch of police this year, this year. And so I had to bother you again because like a bunch of drama goes on here, yeah. Right? All right, see you later. Actually. Thanks for calling 911. Bye. Where Mr. Yoko is at now. 
<laughs> honey, what's so daggum funny? Don't worry, honey. All things are just going fun as our friends. Everything just is going fine. No problems at all. Uh, finish my work. Now I have nothing to deal with. <laughs> what the? Someone's at the door, honey. Can you get it? What the? What, what, wait, why me? Oh, well, I, I ain't your slave and you are my master. What are you talking about? Shut up. Don't say that again or we'll get a divorce. Uh, sorry, honey. I, I mean, okay, I, I'll go get the door, okay? Ow. Oh, uh, 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 good evening, officer. Oh, you so happy to meet Mr. Yoshikaru Yoko. <laughs> oh, so, so, so sorry. Yes, yes, yes. That's me. So what are you doing here, officer? Look, I got many complaints about you. I said, I heard that you've been hacking other people's accounts, using fake usernames, stealing people's pictures and uh, profiles, hacking their accounts, spamming them, saying horrible things towards them, and, and a whole bunch of junk I've heard. Wow! I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I would never do a thing like that, right? Officer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will never do a thing like that. L liar. Oh, I listen here, Mr. Y Yoshi Okoto. Yoko, you are, you are placed under arrest for impersonation, ha hacking, cyberbullying, and all this all, all kind of, only above on social media. You are, you are placed under arrest. You're a fake officer. I finally got to find off the... Oh, oh, the nanny? Wait, I'm, wait, I, wait, I'm going to jail? Yes, Mr. Yoko. I said you're under you're placed under arrest for cyberbullying, all the harassing, impersonation, and all the other above, and messing with, with, with the famous rap king. Well, try and get me, boy. You lousy, put you lousy pig. <laughs> oh, you're trying to show all sassy, aren't you? Well then. You better, you better keep a lookout, cause I'm the king of Taekwondo, boy. Five minutes of Officer Brooklyn trying to put Yoko down in handcuffs and put him in the police car. Honey. 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 Well. Probably it was the police arresting him again for cyberbullying on social media. Well, guess he won't be back for four to six months. Okay. So, Mr. Yoko got arrested and let's see how Emmanuel and Charles are doing. Yes. Thank you so much Emmanuel, now my channel, account and my music career is now safe. Thanks bud. You're welcome man. If you need anything just come to New Jersey and I'll help you run any problem that you have bud. And that's what friends are for. So truly? so true. Hey, you gave me an idea for my next new song. That's what friends are for. What do you think? Let me think. Um... Charles, I love it! Best song I did I ever heard. And, and also, I bet everyone's gonna love that song. It's, it's the same as the other song that we did on, like, you know, prevent from cyberbullying and stuff like that. Yeah, Charles, this is the best idea I've ever heard all day. Well, glad you liked that idea, Emmanuel. Now that we don't have to deal with Mr. Yoko hacking and spamming accounts. You got that right, dude. N now let's get started working on that song. Because it's almost getting late, and we're, and also, we're only like a half through the day. So, actually, since we got like, like an hour or two left uh, until... Friday, let's do that song and make it something spark. Yeah! That's what's up. Let's do this thing. Charles and Emmanuel did the song and uploaded onto YouTube and got a lot of likes. The next day, Charles was about to head back to Louisiana. 
thank you once again for your help, Emmanuel. I couldn't have saved my career without you. You're a good friend. You got that right. And kids, a little fun fact for you. A good friend always got to be accepting. And always, like, you know, not be jealous, not be hatred. Just, just a good friend is always a person who really cares and show like, a lot of love and enjoys what you do. Also, if a person wasn't a good friend or is, like, says, like, you know, say something negative to you or whatever, that's not a friend at all. Because based on what Charles and I are, we're good, we're, we're, we're good friends to each other. Because we never, like, try to, like, hurt each other or threaten each other or whatever, or whatever each other. Also, also, this is a good, good, good friendship. Friends always help each other in situations. Friends always defend one another. Friends always agree on or, or whatever. That's what it means to be a good friend. You got that right, Ian. That's what being a good friend is all about. Okay, my bus is here. See you soon and thanks. Alright then. See you later, man. Be safe. Get, home, get to your home safely. Yep, today has been one good of a day. Charles got home, is getting home safely, and everything turned out okay. Yep. Huh. I haven't seen Vanessa all day. I wonder how she's doing. Vanessa Kobayashi is with DeAndre. tonight and this has been so great for the past three days just you and me is hanging you know that's one thing I like about you that V that's why you're so so it's so beautiful tonight <laughs> oh boo boo bear you always make me the happiest girl in our lives Always been great actually being together as Deandra as a Kobe away. <laughs> how nice, V, how nice. It's, I'm always glad to be with you. You know, this is great that, that we actually became boyfriend and girlfriend. This is great. Well, what, what else do I do tonight? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. So far we've been to places that we almost gone to every day. What do you want at your sweetheart? Um, well, maybe. I got it. What about we all go out for some ice cream? Ice cream? Yay, I love ice cream so much, D, and this is why I love you so, 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 so much. Then, let's get going. Okay, DeAndre, let's go. Ah, now that's the end of the show. Oh, Mr. Yoko, you failed me. You definitely failed me. Now you're in prison. Ah, ah, my plan failed. Oh, don't worry. Nothing. While he's out, I'm gonna be kicking him out of here. I'm gonna show get everyone, every cyber bully out there to the point and the social media. Me, Social Media Hellington, will stop social media. This show will all burn to hell. Oh no. Since Yoko is in prison, now Mr. Sociable Hellington is gonna be showing no mercy on social media.
What kind of life would you like to have? Well, here's your answer. It's easy. Easy life where life is easy for everyone. Enjoy! Episode 5 Who's That Emo Girl? Someone dark like me. Hmm, probably. <laughs> Do I type it in? Type my, her name, Karine. And, yeah. Yeah, that, that. Uh, Alright, perfect. Now my girl's. Now my, my. Now my little mortal is gonna. is already made and is gonna be coming by. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Can't wait. Tomorrow morning. <clears throat> this is indeed a immortal. Hey, hey there. What's your name? Does it really like matter? My name is Karen. Whatever. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. I got a little assignment for you, my, my darling. What kind of assignment? I just want to lay down and think about death and life. Because my life stinks all the time. And I don't know what to do now. And what, who are you supposed to be? I'm your father! Okay, whatever, old man. Oh, my devil. Let me just hurry the plan. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Meanwhile, with Vanessa and her cousin. Oh, hi, Spada. It's been a while. Oh. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you again. I'm just here to see my elder cousin. Spada, he started working here like two days ago at the bar. Yup. It's so good to see you too, Vanessa. You're always my favorite cousin and last time I saw you, since you were 13 years old. <laughs> yep. Good times that we had when I was 13, but now I am 18, so thanks for inviting me for coming to your workplace, Pada. I knew you'll have a cool job one day just like this. Well, gotta make a living somehow. And I am also married, so I got a lot on my hands now, because I got two children the house and everything that I have to take care of now. But anyway, what can I get you, V? Anything to drink for today? Well, I want one Bud Light drink, please. Okay. 
coming right up. Well, I guess it's gonna be a good day today for me. Ouch. Got glass in my hand. Jesus. Okay, that will be $19.99, Vanessa. Okay then, I'll just... What the devil? My wallet, I left it in my car. Oh god damn it. Um. Spada. I'll be right back. Hi. Left my wallet. In my car. Okay then, take your time cousin. Vanessa going out to look for her wallet. Where the heck is my... Oh. Hello there. Who are you? I'm... Karen. Who are you anyway? My name is Vanessa Kobayashi. Have you seen my wallet anywhere there? Karen? Oh. Do you mean this wallet? I found this in... You're Vanessa Kobayashi, right? That's me. Oh, okay. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. Now I need to go get my... Um, Miss Kobayashi? Um, may I please ask you a, a question, though? Like, it's really, really important, though. Okay, then. Go right on ahead. Well, I was just wondering, like, if I can, like know your personal, like, information online and stuff like that? Oh, hell no. I'm not giving out my personal information like that, but sorry. My answer is no. And I got a lesson for you. Never tell people your personal information about social media and so on and never ask them that as well. And that's a fact that Emmanuel told me. Oh, that's okay. I can just, like, go anywhere else and, like, uh, I just need to find a living life for once. Because my father wanted me to t ask people about their personal information. But now he told me about what not to do and stuff like that. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit bad about myself. Oh. Well, actually, Kieran, you don't have to. <gasps> really? Yeah. Really, and you can learn a lot from me. Oh, so cool. But, I'm just curious. I was wondering if we can be friends and all? Sure. OMG. If I had a heart, it would be swelling right now with joy. And I'll be crying with tears. Thank you, Co Vanessa Kobayashi. All right then. Wanna go to the movies and watch Wonder Park? Sure thing. Best friend. Okay, Karen. Let's go. Now back with Sir Seattle Hellington and his new mortal, which is a big black chicken. Oh my darn it! My plan has failed. Now my Mia Karen now has friends, and her mind has been changed. No. Well, just why I had to create this this stupid mortal, which is a, just a black chicken. Uh, well, no, that's hard to do for now. But let's try to get things down right. <sighs> All right. All right. Here's the plan. Are you are you listening, chicken man? <laughs> Hmm, you kind of gave me an idea, chicken. I, yeah, I think that's a perfect idea. How about we send like a little, like, you know, fake email to everyone around town. And they get hypnotized. And the designers join forces and destroy social media. They become one of us. Don't you think? Every social media person 
that fake email get hematized, we will conquer a whole social media and a whole, a whole social grid will finally be mine. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Back with Vanessa and Kieran. Wow. Today has been a really awesome day. But I don't know what to do now. Oh. What is that, Kieran? Well, it's my father. My father doesn't understand. Like, I, I want him to have friends and, and all. And he made me like this. All depressed, making my life miserable. I just rather not be with him anymore. I just rather be just me, be free. I want to be out of the world, like like every other girl do is. But that's why I've been down since I was four years old. I've been lonely ever since I was young. It's been tough for me growing up. It has been hard for me to even go anywhere. But what can I do to Vanessa? Well, the best thing to do is think of the positives and never let anyone stop you from what you do best. Plus, you can live with me and that way you won't feel so miserable anymore and my friends and I are happy to help you feel confident again there, Kieran. So, what do you say, girl? <laughs> well, I say... I can live with you for a while. And then I can have some confidence again. Thank you, Vanessa. Anytime, girl. Anytime. So do you want anything else while we're here? Well, probably some black cherry juice can, can do me a trick. Okay, then. I'll get you the black cherry juice for you, Kieran. Wait. Did I forget about something that I... I too get my... Oh, my dear God, I forgot that I need to get my Bud Light from this morning. Oh no, oh no, Sprata. Back with Sprata at the bar. Yo man, uh, I want to buy some, some black velvet please, some two black and black, and yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying dog, and, and some black and tan, for my cousin, Jamalsis. Yeah, well, actually, well, that's my name. Uh, my name is Jamal, though. Yeah. And then I will get some of this. I will get some of that. And I will get some of that bad Latin, okay? See, you, you feel me, dog? Like, like, how, how much it will cost you, brother? That, that would be $104.70. Jamal. You, bro, what the hell? Yo, man, what is up with you, you, you crazy folks, with these high on prices, dog? Come on, what, where I'm from? Oh, I don't have to pay a dime, a nickel, a quarter, brother. What's up with you, man? Come on, now, I know you're on your own, son, dog. Cause, like, I swear, man. Cause, I hope you ain't pulling this little trick on me. I know it's April Fool's Day and all, but, you know what I'm saying? You can't be doing this to me. It's April 27th, 2019, bruh. Yo, yo, man, you crazy, dog. You crazy. No, I, no, I don't care what the day is today. I don't care if it's like whatever, but still, I ever like, I, I, I pay a dollar for all the drinks I asked for. I asked for all like twenty something drinks, twenty four drinks, and then also and that's that's too expensive to be buying all those drinks for my cousins and for my families. Man, 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 you're crazy, man. I'm out of here. I'm out of here with this, man. Yeah, I, I hope y'all get sued. Man, man, I ain't got to play with this, brother. I ain't playing. This is a, a weird joke, boy. You, know, you must be out of your mind. Man, you must be out of your mind, Southern. Man, I hope you, I mean, hope you get fired. hope you get on probation. I hope you get every kind of bad thing happen to you, boy. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go sue this place, cause I, I'm going to the next bar across the street. Fine. Get the heck out of here. Goddamn dude. Jesus churst. Where is Vanessa? Isn't she gonna find her wallet and pay for her drink this morning? Oh well. 
Have some for me then. Thanks for watching. But first, here's a quick message from Mayor Blazer. Good morning, my people. This is a special announcement. Today, I'm, I'm, I'm here at this special high school in downtown Jersey. Today, I'm here to discuss about all the different kinds of friendships. You know you should always treat your friendships carefully. You hear the film with Bible? You know what I'm Be careful with real friends and fake friends. Fake friends are people who are not really your friends. They're just trying to use you and make you do something that will get you in trouble. Real friends are to show really much how care they care much all about you, baby. You gotta show you like almost about the lot of things that, 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 that has become a good friend. Do anyone have any questions? Oh, I have a question. Why do friends break up with each other in different situations? That was a great question, that baby. Okay, and the reason why that because some friends like in case things happen to them or things like that or, or, or like some kind of disagreement or going to a fight, they stop talking to each other because like you know it's like based on like if they can't solve the problem together, they just gonna stop being friends at that time. Did that solve your problem there, Emily? Yes, sir, Mayor Blazer. Alright then, cool, baby. Okay, that's all the time we got for today. Thank you, students, for listening to my message here at this, at this amazing, cute little high school. And I hope you see your babies later on. And thank you so much for watching this episode. And I know you see, like, your friend, remember, but he's, he's, like, out of state right now, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll talk to you guys sometime in the next few episodes of the TV Life or whatever. I'm not trying to bring the fourth end, fourth or anything, baby. Just, like, you know, you be educational. Oh, right, have a good day. Have a good day. Now that's the message from Mayor Blazer and... Oh my god, would you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. Jesus. God. Why well, don't I even have this chicken in my home anyway? And why do I made him anyway? After tomorrow, I'm I'm taking a tear off. I'm I had my life. I'm done. Oh. Okay then. So we'll catch you guys later. Until next time. See you guys soon and be safe on social media and BS and stay Jersey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you all subscribe, comment, and thumbs up, and many more. Thank you guys so much for watching these five episodes, and catch you guys later. And please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment. Bye.